everyone. Here we are again, Robin the Sudoku Guy, with a special tutorial, because this is tutorial number 50. And I'm going to make it a special one because I've had several people request that I actually do a full puzzle that is difficult. So let's hope we can do this. You know, over the years, I've noticed so many people calling difficult puzzles all kinds of names. I'll give you some challenging, diabolical, evil, very difficult, super fiendish, black belt, and so on. All difficult puzzles require the knowledge of a lots of techniques and tricks. If I had six people doing a, the same puzzle, I can guarantee that they all will take different routes because it depends on what you know, on what you see, and when. Let's see what happens on when I do this one. You'll probably see things that I've missed out that you see before I do. That's quite a possibility. So let's have fun, hey? Eh? Here we go. In this puzzle, I first look at uh, anything that stands out very quickly. And here we have the top three blocks and I see there's nothing for one, nothing for two, nothing for three. Five has got two, so we know that in this block there could be three fives put in here. Little numbers. But, you know, this becomes a debate. Should you put the little numbers in or not? Some people say, I don't put any little numbers in. Some people say, I put numbers in because it helps. You choose. This particular time, I'm going to leave it empty, just for fun. So we know, keep it in your memory. It's good for memory, too, Sudoku. There's three fives could go in there. One of those is going to be a five. Let's push on now to these three blocks. Anything that stands out very quickly, nothing with one, nothing with two, or with two. Here's, in this block here, we have cross, do a cross meet system. We cross this two and bring this two down. We finish up with two spots for a two. Now, this is something that's very, very important because I find a lot of people still making this mistake. If a little number can go in two cells of a block, row, or column, put them in. If a little number can go in more than two cells, but is not in a row particularly, or a column within a block, then don't put any numbers in. Remember that, I'll repeat that more than once, I'm afraid. So let's look at this now. Twos, we've got two twos, threes. We've got a three here. Okay, now we've got top, bottom, middle. And now let's go four, five, six. We have a six here and a six here. So that means we have a six here and a six here. It only goes in two spots, so put it in. Uh, six, seven, eight. Well, look, see this eight? If you go across here, it cannot be in here in this block, but it has to go nowhere else but up there. Now that means that we could have eights in here in a row. Now this particular time, just for fun, I'm going to put the little eights in uh, be, just to see what happens. Okay, now let's see what we've got here. Oh, here's something. In this block, we've got a three by three. And the three by three simply means that there's only three numbers left in that block and they'll have to go in these three cells. If I look carefully, it is, what's missing? It's a four, it's a five, and a nine. Oh, here's a four and here's a nine. So that has to be the five. And what that does, it makes these two cells a matching pair because there's only four and nine left. So we have a four and a nine and a four and a nine. Where? That, that was neat. Okay, now we are... That's done for these three blocks. Now look at these three blocks. There's nothing for one, two, three. Yes, we can do a three top, middle, bottom with this three here, that three there. This can be a bottom. Great. Four, nothing. Five, nothing. Six, seven, eight, nine can have a top, middle. It can possibly go in two spots, so we can put it in. There. Okay, now let's do the vertical blocks in here. Ones, no, don't see anything there. Twos, uh, don't see anything there. Threes, yes. There's a possibility of three. Centre, right, left. We can have it here, but because of that three, we can't have it here. We could have it there, either one of those two spots. Now, remember, the five cannot be there anymore. It's going to be in one of these two. Okay. Now, let me see anything else in there. No, 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 no. I think we'll go to these vertical blocks now. Ones, no. Th twos, no. Threes, 
and threes no uh, yes threes there is center left and a right and it goes up there now we have a, a middle a top and a bottom so this becomes the real three and we can erase this three fair that was good now what does that mean ramifications of that first of all we have here a five so it can't be a five there we remember we had in, in our memory five could be along here if it can't go there it must go there now what's the ramification of that well that's the center that's a right there has to be on the left here so we can go here whoops no small letters because i see there's a five there um small ones small numbers i mean uh, or a small one there that's important again i put it in because there's only two places a five can go um six seven eight nine no we we'll now do these these uh, vertical blocks ones no twos three we did three didn't we um four a four could go you can't go there because of these fours rule of exclusion there 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 oh, i could go all over the place so leave it um five six seven oh five six look at this this is neat this five six means that the five six can't be in this block in this spot here and there's only two spots left otherwise so this becomes a matching pair matching five six matching five six okay neat now when you do that again this will now become a three by three what are the numbers now uh, we uh, what is missing in here well we don't have a one in here and it can't be there so we put a one in here and a one in there twos two I mean, we can put a two in there and a two there and a two there there's got to be one other number that's missing in this block one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. it's an eight so we'll put the eight in there and that means that only one two or eight can be in this block there and up in here so that means with the rule of exclusion we can get rid of this eight okay goodbye and so you're left with a matching pair well that was neat let me see now um having done that what's left we have a nine we have a could have a nine in here uh four four now the four can't go in here it has to go over there so this would be a four nine matching pair and if that's a four nine matching pair we're going to have to have a four in here somewhere two spots it can go in well isn't that neat okay we've got on that now we'll do these three vertical blocks fives five could go no, two one what about two three we've done the twos twos now two two now okay so let's go to five yes the five could go there or here right center left it's got two spots we can put it in uh, six seven eight nine. don't see anything else in there oh yes i do i missed the ones here's a one there's a one this has to be a one now having done that our next step is to look for a row column or block that's only got two empty cells left well uh, these two cells are spoken for therefore these two empty cells have to be another matching pair and they would be a two and a seven. Oh, if there are two and a seven matching pair here why put it in we immediately know that that can't be a seven so we make this a two and this a seven now what's the ramifications of that let's take the two the two two yeah we're right we, when we did the cross meet system that worked out well two and seven right center this has to be the seven now this is neat we now have a, a three by three plus a matching pair or plus two empty cells the rule is and i'm going to put this up as a clip the rule is a three by three plus two empty cells it means that those two empty cells have to be a matching pair and we found that out by using this system as well there's two ways of solving that one but here's something that is really neat it's another little rule um, 
if you look at this block, uh, there is two matching pairs plus two empty cells. The same rule applies. Two ma matching pairs plus two empty cells means another matching pair, which you can have in, in quite often in difficult puzzles. So this would be what numbers are missing in here. So one is missing. One can go there and there. And the other one would be one, two, three, four, a five. Okay. So we have a matching pair of five. Now what does that do? Immediately, because of the rule of exclusion, this cannot be a five. If this is a five and that's a five, the five has to be this one. So that means we can make that a five, but watch the value of only putting in a n little numbers in two cells. If that's a five, two could only go in two cells. So this becomes a two. Great system. Now, having done that, let's check. Top, bottom, middle. Wow, isn't that neat? Now, if I look at this row, we really have two empty cells. One has got 4-9 in it. The other empty cell has to have a 4-9 in it too. It has to be a matching pair. It's matching pair plus two. Remember that rule? 4-9, put that in. Now, let me see. While I'm at this area, I see that there's only three cells left in that block. Let's see now. We have a 4 Four, looking up and down, seven, 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 and a nine. There's no nine up in there, so there's no seven or nine in through here. Okay, well, we will have to see what happens here. Great. Now we come to the stage where I'm, I'm looking for a place where there's only two or three left, two or three empty cells left in a row, column, or block. I think I'm going to have to go to four now. We're going to use outside the puzzle. Now, outside the puzzle is a system that I teach for beginners. But as you get more, more advanced, you should be able to remember four numbers possibly, possibly without having to write them down the bottom here. And I'm going to do, I've decided I'm going to do this one here. There's four spaces. And the four numbers, we know it's a four, seven, and nine. There's got to be one other number. Of uh, one, four, it's a six, okay? Four, six, seven, nine. Okay, here's the four, six in here. Here's the seven, nine, so we just leave it as a four, six. Uh, four, um, there's a six here, so we can't have a six there. So here we have a, a four, here's a four, nine, so that has to be a six, seven. And down in this one here, it is a four. Uh, there's a nine already, so it's a four, six, seven. Now, looking at that, I don't see anything that's really standing out to help us uh, at this stage. So let's find another row, column, or block that's only got four. Gee, there's quite a few of them. Uh, let's try this one because there's lots of numbers up here compared with well, almost. Yeah, we'll try this one anyway. Um, What's missing along here? There's four numbers missing. Instead of putting them out here, I'll just put, keep them in the head. There's a one missing, a one, uh, two, three, four, there's a four there, five, one, six, there's a six here, seven, and eight. One, six, one, four, six, and eight. So one, four, six, this is a one, eight, okay? This is a one four. There's a six up in here, so there's a just one four eight, and this one here is a one four. Uh, can't be a six. There's a six down in here, so it's a four eight. So we now have the missing numbers in small numbers. That is in that row. Let's look at it. Uh, what is there? Oh look! You may have noticed this already. This is neat. See this row. It's only got one six possibility. So that means that this becomes a six. If you want to know more about this, uh, I've got a, a lesson, I think it's lesson 13, where I said there's only one place it can go. Well, in this row, the only place a six can go is there. And that's a neat discovery. Now, having done that, what are the ramifications? Well, let's just take the six first. Uh, there's a six up here, there's a six up there. We could have a six here. 
or a here. Uh, going down this way, we could have a six here. Right, center left, we could have a six there. Good. Now, what's the also the ramification of that six? Is look at this, we come down here, that six is gone, and this six is gone, and what does that do? That means that this becomes a seven, Okay, that becomes a 7. Let's look at the ramifications for that 7. We have a uh, center, top, bottom. One of these is a 7. It can't be there, so one of these is a 7, so we can put it in. Uh, 7, this gets rid of that 7. Uh, now if you look at this, oh, look at this. If you look at this block, there's only one place for a 7 now, and that's right there, so that's great. Put that 7 in. Okay. And that 7 means that one of these is the 7. It goes in two spots. We can put it in. Now, down here we can get rid of this 7. But that makes it this one a 4. Now, what's the ramification of that? Wow, this 6 is really giving us a lot. 4. The 4 means that we'll go up and do this area first. We'll go up. That means that this becomes a 9. And that 9 means that this becomes a 4. Wow, this is this is this is exciting because what's going to happen here is all kinds of things. I think we'll see. That becomes a four. This four here is eliminated, so this becomes a nine, and that nine means that this is eliminated, and that becomes a four. Okay, boy, isn't that neat? If that's that fits, because if we have a, a, a middle, a top, and a bottom, one of these is going to be four. That fits. That's great. Super. Now, we look, need to look, we did a new number down here, it was a 4, wasn't it? 4, we know that a 4 is going to be up in here or there. This 4 going this way means that this one here can't be there because of that 4. This one here becomes a 4. And, oh, look at this. Therefore, this, there 4, that was the part I got it. And this 4 here becomes a 9, and that becomes a 4. Okay, so that becomes a 9, and this becomes a 4. We finished that block already. Fantastic. If that's a 9, and that's a 9, this becomes a possible 9, and that becomes a possible 9. There's two spots we put it in. But when we remember we had... Oh, this is neat. We remember we had a 5 here, and a 5 here is a possibility, but once it's a 5 is gone from there, this becomes the real big 5. Now... Anything from here. Okay, I can immediately see. Oh, look at this. This is amazing. Um, there's, different, there's different ways to go. I could say this 5 means that this becomes a 6, or I could say this 5 means that that's a 5 because we have a bottom, top, middle. We can, I'll go this way just to begin with. That was a 5, so this becomes a 6, which means that this becomes a 5. So what's, what's the ramification of that? Let's take the 6 first. Well, that 6 can go... The 6 could only go in two spots there, so that means that this has to become a 6. Okay. Now, what's the ramification of that? 6, 6, 6 is a 6 can come in here. Wow. Now, we put a 6 here. Well, let's do the 5 first. Put a 5 here. That means that this becomes a 1, and this becomes a 5. Boy, things are really happening here. 5. Now, because of this 6... This becomes an 8, and this becomes a 6. And we put an 8 and a 6 in there. We've finished that block already. 6, 6, 6, 5, 5, self-checking, 5, 5, 5, 4, 4, one of these is a 4, yeah. Oh, when I went up there, I noticed this. Look at this. There's only one left. That's easy. One. It's a 1. Okay. What's the ramification of that one? Pun. <laughs> Top, middle, oh, that becomes a 1, and therefore this becomes a 4, 8. And we now have a matching pair in there. Woo, neat. Well, now I've got to the last area a little bit. Uh, let me see, is there anything else with 4? Um, yeah, let me see. Well, here's one with 3. Uh, we have a 2, 4, 8 in here. 2, 2, can't be a 4, 2, 8. My pen is starting to run out. Uh, two, four, eight. Does that give us anything? Mm, no. 
let me look at the, the say this one here one two three four there's one two three in there if there's only two three in there we're missing a well when i did that two and i that two over there i didn't put in a two here did you notice that you've probably been saying hey robin you missed that yeah i did but we catch it later um okay so we've got two eight nine we have an eight here we have an eight there two eight nine there's a nine over here and we have a an eight we have an eight there because there's a two and there's a nine okay if we have an eight there that can go and that can go so this becomes a two well i'm discovering things all the way along here okay let's push on if that's a two this two can go and uh, wow we have a two eight nine okay just for fun i'm going to do this column here there's only three left we could do it this way as well uh, okay let's try now what's uh, what's missing in here one uh, two two uh, seven uh, and an eight so two seven eight oh look what i've discovered two eight two eight they are very valuable two seven eight well guess what when we put that eight in we can get rid of that eight and we missed that one didn't we so um this two eight very powerful very powerful 2-8 means that any 2-8 along here, or any 2 or 8 along here, can be eliminated. So you can get rid of that 2 now. That's the rule of exclusion. Therefore, this becomes your 9. That makes sense too, because we've already got the 2 there. Um, now, what we got here? We've, where are we up to? Okay, we got a 1. We're getting down to the end. In this particular three, there's only three here, it's a one, two, and a seven. Well, there's a seven there, that's a one, two, that's right. We have a one up here, so it's a two, seven. We have a one here, and there's only a seven there. Uh, we can't have a one, we have a one and a two here, so that means that this becomes your seven, and that becomes a two. Okay, then we'll be, we're really coming quickly now, seven, and that becomes, this becomes a seven. Very good. If that becomes a seven, this is gone. That becomes a seven up in here. Okay, I wonder what that does now. One, seven, seven, seven. Okay, we'll have to see after as we go. Let me see now. I think that could be a nine. Yes, center, right, nine. Yep, which means that this nine can go. And now we've got four left in here. A three left in there. Let me see. That's a two. Oh, if this is a two, look at this. If this is a two, this becomes a one. I missed that one. If that's a one, oh, let me get this a little darker. If that's a one, this becomes an eight. So get rid of that one there. That becomes an eight. Look at this. Therefore, this becomes a two. Wow, we're going like a crazy here. And this becomes an eight. We've got all those done. That becomes an eight. Have a look, all that whole row, that whole column is done. Okay, now what are we left in here? We've got two left in here. What are the numbers? There are two left in here in this block. Uh, well, we have a one, one, it has to be a one, one. Oh, look, one's already there, so that means that this becomes a six, and this becomes a one. Now let's look at the ramification of that. One, 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 yeah, that's right. Six, six, six has to be up in here. It could be here or here, but it can't be there, so it has to be there. Okay, and this, this six means that this six is eliminated. Oh, wow. Now, in this column, we're getting to the end now. It's going boom, 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 boom. Uh, that has to be a two, because that's the only one left in that column. If that's a two, and that's a two, this becomes an eight. And... This big I image, mean, so we get rid of that eight, that get rid of that eight, it becomes a four. Uh, that becomes a four. Therefore, this, therefore, <laughs> got it, this becomes a two because you've got top, middle, bottom. Okay. 
And we're down to the last bit here. This four means that this becomes a, an eight. Okay. And that becomes a four. So that completes that block. And we've only got one left along here. Well, look at the nines. Nine, we've got a nine in here, so there's two left in there, so there's nine, nine. This has to be a nine. So we finish that as well. And now what have we got left in here? I think it's an eight. Bottom, top, middle, that's an eight. And do we, have we covered it yet? Whoopee, we've covered it. Well, I can put a little smile up in here. I don't know if that fits, but we survived solving a fairly difficult puzzle. Hope you enjoyed that. There's lots of techniques we use, lots of tricks, and I hope you learned something at the same time. See you. Bye for now.